Okay, so next we're back into this story, and this is next we're on day six and seven, and days day six and seven where I started to get um, a little, you know, um, uncomfortable, and this is like not because like the place I was staying was uncomfortable. Staying at Tom's house, it was great. Um, everything was nice, but I started to realize that like um, I was. I, I kind of dislike wearing shoes and that's not to say like I'm a hippie and I'm going to get some sandals because I hate sandals too. Um, but, um, I'm thinking like in the house, it feels weird to wear shoes now. Um, it feels weird, weird to wear shoes like in a lot of places now, you know, when I'm in Japan, like you, I never wear shoes in my house, but I also don't wear shoes at work. Like I, they're constantly off. Um, and people have work slippers like in japan they sell work slippers that are look like dress shoes but they're slippers i don't know how that works but some people just wear regular slippers at work though um i just take my shoes off and wear socks and then like if i get up from my desk which is like maybe once or twice a day i'll put my shoes back on that's pretty much how i roll but you know in a normal day like i wear, wear my shoes like you know 20 percent of the time i'm out of the house Unless I'm, like, just walking around all day. But if I'm at, on a normal day where I'm just at work, like, I, you know, I wear my shoes when I walk to work, and then I wear my shoes when I walk back home. That's about it. But in the U.S., like, you know, wear my shoes all the time, and it starts to be a little uncomfortable. Um, and I think, like, Japan gets it right with the not wearing shoes indoors thing. I think that's a, that's a good thing. And I know people in the U.S. don't, not everybody does wear shoes in the house or whatever, but... A lot of people do and just don't care. And I think, like, people should get on this shoes off thing. <laughs> like, at work, get your work slippers, come in your house, and you got your house slippers. I got I got house slippers. I'm wearing them right now. They're, um, they're peanuts. It's got, it's got a little Charlie Brown on there and all the peanuts characters on my room slippers. They're room shoes. They're called room shoes. Um, that's a thing, but, um, that was, that was the thing I noticed after a while, but also a thing that I noticed after about a week was that, man, I was like, there was like never a point where I was hungry. Um, I was like constantly, I felt like constantly full in the U S like I was, even if like I hadn't eaten, you know, I'd eat something and then I'd be like full for the whole day. And, you know, I'd still have to eat lunch and dinner or whatever because you know you have to eat that stuff. But I was constantly felt like I was full. And, you know, I go to here in Tokyo. I go to the gym like, you know, three times a week. And um, being in the U.S., like I obviously don't have a gym membership there. And I felt like, you know, I, we were out doing a lot of traveling and walking and stuff. So I didn't feel like terribly out of place, like not going to the gym but you know i did feel like i should so and one of these days i went to the gym with my sister and my sister goes to some kind of weird training gym that doesn't have any weights or anything it's like you're ha you're doing all these like uh, strange exercises i don't know what it is but there's a trainer there and he's just like gives you a menu and you kind of run through all this stuff where there's like barely any it's just like body resistance training in a circuit mostly and so i went to my sister's gym with her and and that was all right i mean um it was it was literally in a warehouse i don't i have no idea how she found it i think like her boyfriend goes there or something and that's how she found it but um yeah it was all right going to the gym was good met someone who knew my other sister who was the, tr the trainer actually knew my other sister and uh that was interesting. Um, uh, it was it was kind of fun to do the the gym training that was different than the normal training I do, if only to see how much I, how like much I've progressed since like I initially started my gym training, which was not that long ago. And you know, like previously, I was like incredibly out of shape, and now I'm like uh, ready to put on the gun show, gun show. No, um, <laughs> but. Uh, the uh 
you know, going to the gym with my sister was nice because it would, it was like the, uh, first time I'd seen my sister, but also we got to, uh, you know, experience some American style gym training, I guess. And that was, it was different. It was good though. That was nice. Um, let's see. What else do we got? Uh, oh yeah. Here was a thing that I thought was really interesting when I was in the U S was that when I'm walking, when I was walking through town or around the streets or whatever, there were times where I would hear people speaking Japanese, like, um, you know, like you're just walking by and you're hearing like clips of people's conversations and you can't make out what they're saying. And I just like my brain turned it into Japanese where I'd be like, sometimes I'd catch parts of people's conversations and I'd think like they'd end the sentence with Japanese words. And it was really weird because I'm like walking through a place and I'd be like, did some just end their sentence with a Japanese word? Why? Is that a thing in America? But no, it was just like I was uh, hearing things because I'm used so used to hearing things in Japanese like around me that like when I when I'm hearing like parts of the conversation or parts of the words my brain is like morphing them into Japanese even though you know it's obviously all English that I'm just not hearing correctly and I thought that was a little um interesting it was not something I was expecting to have happen but that was a thing that happened where I was just like I kept like hearing little snippets like is that is that eight-year-old girl speaking Japanese but no, it was never, nobody was ever speaking Japanese. No, not, uh, okay, there was only one time where we ran into people who were actually speaking Japanese, but they were obviously Japanese. Um, and that was at a wrestling show. So, yeah, I'm trying to see what else do I have in here. Um, besides my weird kind of language version of pareidolia, I guess, that was, uh, um... Yeah, okay. And this was another thing that I mentioned in a previous video where random people would come and talk to us. But, like, this kind of thing happened to me a, a bunch of times. Like, um, you know, generally, people don't come up to you and talk to you in Japan. It's the kind of thing where, like, it's, it's a little bit of a, you know, like a social faux pas if you're just randomly talking to people and then if you do randomly talk to people it's not impossible but it's the kind of thing where like usually you're starting your your opening with a, a lot of apologies but in the u.s like people would often like just randomly talk to us we'd be walking down the street and uh people will and like common common occurrence was uh somebody would compliment my hair um and right now it's like totally not done or anything and this is like my I'm off of work and I'm just kind of sitting around the house kind of hairstyle, which is not uh, fixed. But, you know, but when we're out in the U.S., like I, you know, I would do it normally. Like, not like it takes any time. It takes like five minutes to do my hair because it's just like, you know, throw in some wax and do that and it's done. And, but, you know, uh, you know, we would be walking through a parking lot and like uh, a you know, like, random woman would be like, I love your hair. And I'd be like, oh, that thanks. She's like, how do you get it that way? And I'm just like, I'll just use wax. Really, really interesting, like, like, spread of people, too. And it wasn't like, um, you know, like, it, it, you know, it could just be like, random woman, random, uh, and like, it not just like, um, I don't, I don't know how to say, say this, like, um, various people, but I, I mean, various people doesn't make sense in the, in the terms of like, I want to explain it, like various types of people, like black people, white people, old people, young people, that kind of thing is what I mean by various people, because it happened a bunch of times. And like, sometimes it was not, I mean, people wouldn't like, uh, say anything, but, like, you know, there was a point where we walked into a restaurant. Like, this local restaurant is really famous. It, like, won a, a, uh, an award, like, a pretty famous culinary award, James Beard Award, for the their, like, food. And it's just, like, a local diner type of place. But it sells, like, it has, like, this kind of signature cheeseburger where the, it, like, uses four slices of cheese that are, like, 
outside and they like fry it so like the cheese is hard on the outside of in a square around the burger and it's really good but it's famous and um in this place we went there and in the middle of the day and it's like all old people there and like the place also makes their own ice cream too so it's i mean it's a good place um but we went there and like you know we went into the restaurant and literally everybody in the restaurant was staring at me it, it, it um i mean probably didn't help like that i'm wearing like a maroon shirt and like a leopard print vest or whatever but um you know, you guys have probably seen it. I wear it in my videos sometimes. It's not like a <laughs> thing, but I have it. And I was, that's what I was wearing. But like, I didn't really even notice. And Tom was saying like, yeah, like basically everybody is staring at you. And I was like, oh, well, I guess that's the thing. But, uh, you know, that kind of thing happened. But, you know, I, ne I didn't have any negative reactions. I guess that's a negative reaction. Um, but I did have a lot of positive, random positive reactions to like my hair and this style of dress and whatever that happened a couple of times too where i i got like random people came up and just gave compliments which i thought oh that's cool that then rarely happens to me in japan but it happened a lot in two weeks it happened like six times i think which is kind of a lot so yeah um that was mostly day six and seven um i haven't actually gone over any of this like i've gone over a little bit of it but we did a lot of stuff in this time it wasn't just these kind of things like we went to we went to a puppet parade um that involved puppet guilds showing off puppets in a parade form that was like pretty early in the trip and you know we went to see various friends and things in other states and um we did just a lot of stuff. I mean, there were we were busy every day going all types of places. So that prob maybe factors into why so many people talk to us because we were just all over the place. But uh, that was it. So I guess this will continue in the next vi video.